But the one thing to remember is that it's the judge's overall impression and the feeling they get. Mm -hmm. You take, for example, um, section one, where Nigel destroyed the, uh, the bank of the Hubbas. Yeah, if you focused on the Hubbas, yeah, Nigel just killed those, the Hubbas, but it wasn't a Hubba contest, it was a first section contest. But the impression you get overall by experiencing it and being there and the feeling you get when Chris Cole escapes. And ultimately, if you take the, the, the definition of judge, it's like, it's a literal definition, you're judging. Yeah. And that's what you're there for, you're judging. What do you feel from this? Right. And not only are you judging from the amount of tricks, but the trick selection, the way you do your tricks, how big you do your tricks, how you look when you do them. Mm -hmm. and, and just the overall feeling that you get, like, he's making it like a really fun scene and a really fun vibe. It, it didn't have anything to do with it specifically. Like, oh, if you put two or three tricks together, you will be scored higher. And if the judges choose to do that, then that's cool. But at the same time, it's not required. And the difference in the one here, the one in Orange County as opposed to New York, it would judge per obstacle per section. So if you didn't hit an obstacle, then you got a zero on that obstacle, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this one was, oh, it didn't have anything to do with the obstacle per se. However, if you skated everything, it's, just, it's your overall impression of how you felt. And it also has a lot to do with that. Deal with your style. Maybe Nigel, maybe the judges were thinking like, hey, I didn't really think Nigel went as big, or I don't think Nigel did it as good, or, you know, I mean, there's two different ways to do a kickflip, right? Or there's a, uh, a thousand different ways to do a kickflip. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't want to call any specific names out because that's not what I'm here to do. But if you think of different skaters and different kickflips, and I'll, I'll take for a great example, a switch heel is a switch heel, right? But Sierra Fellers does one of the best switch heels you can possibly do. So that's just like a good example of, hey, the, you know, Joe Blow that I never heard of, switch heel down the triple set. Great. He did, did it a little bit ugly, didn't catch it super good, and uh, and landed a little sketch and put a hand down. So maybe he got, you know, if you're judging just that one trick, maybe he got a 65 on that switch heel. But Sierra Feller does it, does it like a karate kick, lays down in the air, catches it with both feet while he's still going up, and then lands it, and you're like, that kick looks worth that. I mean, that switch feels worth a 95. So you can have a 30 point difference in the same exact trick. Yeah, it's definitely possible to get a perfect 100. Um, but you also have to include, like, hey, how did I feel about watching those 16 tricks? Yeah. Please consider that Nigel did beat Chris Cole in that section with right. 98.33. Right. I can't remember Cole's exact score, but Nigel beat him in that section. However, going going into that section, you know, Chris Cole was ahead barely by, what was it, uh, one point or something, George? Something like that. And then Malto was second and Nigel was in yeah. third. Remember, Malto could have actually won the contest. Nigel's score and Malto's score were so close yeah. in that last section that I think a pop seven was kind of Malto would have landed that, he would have been in second and Nigel would have been yeah. third. Some of, the, some of the comments are just like, okay, you're not really taking in the whole thing into account. Other guys were. Mm -hmm. and, and when there's $100,000 on the table, for first place, I, I definitely want to, you know, go on record saying, like, our judges take that super, super, super seriously. Mm -hmm. And it's not just an easy decision for anyone to make. And, and, and all those guys on our panel are all, you know, Jason Rothmeyer, um, uh, professional skateboarder for many years, Stacey Lowry, I guess you can still consider him pro. 